back guys, my name's edogs82 and we're here playing the forest. I hope you guys haven't missed this series for too long, I know it's been a few days, but I'm back. Alright, let's do this. So I was playing on slot 5 in this let's play I remember. As you can see I have quite a few playthroughs of my own personal ones, how I've been learning a lot of stuff about the game and also through the wiki so I've invested a lot of time in trying to get more content out to you guys knowing how to do more things <sighs> I know it doesn't seem like a lot that I, I tend to do but there is quite a bit <laughs> a lot of behind the scenes work but last time, as you watched in my previous video, we uh, had some difficulties building in that place that we were in, on that small lake that had caves all around it. And so I decided to move locations. And now we live here at this place. It's a bigger lake. It's better. It has more resources around. I like it. But... There's quite the dangerous foe here. Crocodiles. We have to co-live with crocodiles. So, not only do I have to wash my ass about cannibals in this area, I have to be careful for potential crocodiles in the area. And there are many. Those berries suck. Okay. Yep, there's a crocodile right there. Oh, he's after me. <laughs> there's my friend Katatori Key. I was trying to do a video with him today, but uh Whoa, more of them. He doesn't have time, so just me today, ladies and gentlemen. no fish in this lake, is there? Oh, there is. Do I have fish? No, I don't. Let's spear us some fish. Oh, the deer's gone for a swim. This fish spearing thing is kind of hard. Oh. Well, I hope you guys are fans of Katatori Key because it looks like he's going to be doing a double episode. <laughs> He's already done. That's right, because we uh, we filmed earlier, well, last week, and uh, he must be trying to upload the more today. He seems pretty happy about it. Come on, one more fish. That's all I need. There we go. Let's get ourselves a deer as well if we can. No, he's too fast at the moment. Oh, well, maybe this one. Nah, he's good. He's going to get away. Let's switch back to my crafted axe and cut us some trees down so that we can continue to build out out onto the water and be safe more from <laughs> the not only the crocodiles but also the cannibals. Ooh, sneaky crocodile over there. Okay, I better stay away from him because when they bite you, oh, when they bite you, it's like half health damage that they take out of you. It is a monstrous amount. Just absolutely disgusting the damage they can do to you. Until I discovered this area in my solo playthroughs, I didn't even know the crocodiles existed. Now I know. And I can know just how dangerous they are. As you can see, there's uh, another one of them over there hanging out. 
And there's that one looking like he's going to come for me. So I better move. Oh, we got a cannibal on the horizon as well. This one looks like he's a starving feral. If he wants to come fight, fair enough. If not, well, you better leave. Ooh, schnicky. You got the dodge rolls. Ooh, cannibal and crocodile. That's not cool. Oh, hell no. Mr. Crocodile, eat the cannibal, please. <laughs> My turn. Ooh. You're going to run now, huh? Oh, that's how you want to play, huh? Yeah, you screwed up, man. I hope you learned your lesson. Okay, let's get these logs real quick. Take them back to the platform. Try and avoid getting charged by all these crocodiles. Let's light the fire again. Let's put some meat on there. Better put that lizard on because he's starting to go bad. Oh! We got a crocodile up our ass. And some cannibals here. So, dealing with this situation is not going to be easy. Oh, there sounds like there's a lot of them here. Okay. Let's try and make a couple of Molotovs. Oh, we got a live one. Yeah? Yeah, you want to play? How's that going to work out for you, buddy? <laughs> Come on, just die. Yeah. Oh, now your friend wants to run the hell away. Smart decision, my friend. Smart decision. Now, I want to see... Ooh. How does a crocodile burn? Lucky I got on this rock. <laughs> They don't burn? Or do they? <laughs> He's too slow. Well, apparently a Molotov cocktail can't kill a crocodile. Anyways, that's one dead crocodile in the area. Time to deal with this one. Covered in blood, yes, I realize. And this one is dead as well. Excellent. Let's put on all that lizard skin armor much as we can. Get ourselves nice and armoured. Now, I think I burnt my lizard. <laughs> yep, burnt the lizard. He's charcoal now. Oh well. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to build a drying rack over here 
so that I can have food that I don't have to cook. And I only have one stick. Wow. Time to get more sticks. Let's do this on the mission for sticks. That's two sticks. We need like 17 more sticks. Oh, that's a good haul. Whoops, that was my phone. If you heard that, ladies and gentlemen. Probably Katatori King still bugging me because I didn't reply to him because I'm recording. Okay, I'm going to run through this water, wash myself. Yeah. Swim with the fishes. Metaphorically, you know, don't want to swim with the fishes forever and die. And this cannibal is back to play. Mate. I'm going to wreck you. Get out of here. Just seven more sticks needed. Hey, get lost. Ooh, he's got the dodge roll. Mate. Ah, uh, you're you're screwed now. <laughs> and it's over. And don't come back. Now, more sticks. That's another bad berry bush. That's the one thing, bad thing about this area that I can say. I've only noticed bad berries in this area. They're all poisonous. Look at that. We need another bath. Okay. We currently have five sticks. There we go, we got enough sticks. Excellent. Uh, more cannibals on the horizon. Now I can put all of my meat on the dry rack. And I have a lot of it at the moment. Especially after I pick up all those crocodiles. I won't be going hungry. That is a plus. Okay, time to get me some more food. And there's like an abundance of deer in the area as well, which is great. Hey Bambi, if you're going to wander in my camp, I'm going to kill you and put you on my drying rack. I hope you're okay with that. rack is really starting to fill up. So much meat. It's glorious. There we go. All the meat I could ever ask for. Now, back to the main mission of creating the platforms. Ooh, rain.
Mm, I was gonna. I was just thinking about it. I was like, maybe I should create a raft. But you know, I thought about it, and I was like, hmm. I don't have the rope. I need four ropes. Whoa, that wind. And I also don't have enough cloth to make me two more ropes. So for now, I need to just hold off on doing that. Just keep building the platforms like I'm doing and fighting all these gay cannibals that constantly are coming for my booty. I hear them now, they're singing it, swiggity swoody, come and put our booty, I want the booty, give me the booty. Hey, no booty for you today, sir. We're closed for business. <laughs> Ma'am, one second, let me deal with your boyfriend and I'll get to you. Please, one at a time. I know you're a couple, but you gotta be polite and follow the rules. Hey! Three on one is not fair, not in the least. Sir, there's plenty of other people you can eat on this island. Why me? No, you don't. You don't escape. Oh, you got hops. You got that dog roll. On fleek. Come on, then. You did now, fool. Now, you get out of my home. Yeah, that's right, lady. I just messed your boyfriend up. Now it's your turn. Stay out of here. This is my neighborhood. You guys wandered into the wrong neighborhood. Oh no, the logs! No! We got another crocodile. Hey. It's crocodile dying time. I see you. Hello. You did, sucker. That crocodile was fierce. I know you guys lived here before I did, but this is my home now. Put all their meat on the rack again. We're going to have a huge feast when all of this is good to go. Okay, let's... Uh, Break this down and adjust it a bit better.
how does that line up? Better. Not perfect, but better. I can deal with that. Go and get some more logs. Uh, drink me a soda. Get my energy back. Maybe I should build a log sled. That's like 31 sticks to make, so... Uh, decisions, decisions. It's getting a little dark up in here. And when it gets dark, you know what happens. We get a crap ton of cannibals up my ass. How much does it take to build a fire pit? Do I have what it takes? Is the better question. Okay, so I need two more rocks and four sticks. Should be easy enough to get. And we've got company all ready. Hey, punk. Get out of here. Visiting hours are over, mate. Get out of here. Damn, she's got the rope. Did you learn this from the elites from Halo? Damn. Lady, you just got the best girl ever. Stay out of my land, seriously. You're annoying. I just saw a stick on the ground. Good. Alright, here's a tree that we can cut down for sticks. We've got three sticks now. We just need one more. And we have enough. One extra to go around as well. We badly need that fire because... Well, we're freezing cold. It's night time. And uh, we got cannibals in the area who are deathly afraid of fire. And our food is good. Let's sleep. And we have daylight. Glorious daylight. I'm thirsty and hungry. Well, I got the thirst down pat. It's all good. And we got meat for days. So, back to the true tasks at hand cutting down more trees. Sorry, all you eco warriors out there, but I need this to survive.
September. Yeah. And to be fair, you know, I'm not just logging this stuff for profit. It's not going to waste or anything. I'm actually using it to help me survive in this inhospitable land. I'm putting all the materials I cut down to use. So I'm doing a good thing. Anyways. Just two more logs. Hell yeah. <laughs> all the cannibals rotting out in the sun. You know, it's funny to think, I'm also doing, like, I'm making Saruman incredibly proud of me right now, cutting down all these trees, damn it. <laughs> I failed. I lost all those logs. No. What was that? Oh. Shikori. Good. I needed that stuff. There is a log. Where is the other log? Oh, there isn't any more. Whoops. See, I just dropped two and I only got one out of it. Yeah, about my earlier statement. Sorry about the logs in the water, but you know. <laughs> they'll break down and they'll feed fish and whatever. So yeah, we're cool. Oh, here's that other log. There we go. Hmm. Maybe I should build some traps. Because in my solo playthrough, not on camera, I set up this camp that was absolutely bristling with traps, and it just, it was great. It destroyed the cannibals. They had a really hard time of getting to me. The annoying part was they kept coming back in large numbers all the time. And they were constantly, like, coming every night, like, ridiculous amounts. Like, I was constantly setting up trap after trap after trap and having to reset them all the damn time. Like, they, they would trigger one trap and it wouldn't actually hit them. And they'd go, ha ha, sucked in, I triggered your trap. And then keep running around and I'm like, Ugh. if I don't fix that, that's a gap in my wall. So, that was the one downside to having traps for days. But they are very useful.
Don't fall in the water, Edogs. Not again. We need all those locks. Hello, Mr. Stick. <laughs> Did you see that? A squirrel just ran up the tree. I'm chopping down. He's about to have a bad day. Very bad day. There we go, tree down. So just quickly, I'm going to fiddle with the options. Is it possible to put my settings up higher? Custom. High settings, okay. What does this go to? Medium? High? Custom? Ultra low? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't think so. Probably shouldn't be doing this on camera, but you know couldn't help myself. Yeah, let's run it at medium, see how that works. Okay, tree's going down. Whoa, actually, options. Motion blur. We are going to put that off. I do not appreciate that motion blur. <laughs> not at all. It appears my computer can run medium just fine, so I don't exactly have to do it on fastest like I have been. Nope! No! Save the logs! Damn it. This is ridiculous because I can see how many logs I've been dropping in here. Dropping logs for days. Ugh. E dogs, you idiots. Oh, I see you. I see you. You want a piece of me? Yeah? Woo! Come get some! This is like the ultimate test of how well the game can run for me at the moment. Fighting these guys. If I can fight them at medium, things are okay. It appears I can. Yeah? Chicken? Come get some. I'll take you all. Come now, then. Ooh! I bet that hurt. And you did! What about your friends? You want some, too? I got enough axe for all of y'all. Nice dodge. You're a skilled warrior.
I'm not skilled enough though. Yeah? Well guess what? Third third time's the charm. You're the next course. I like three course meals. <laughs> You're the dessert. The cherry on the cake. Still laughing even though he's dying. That's disgusting. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I died. Damn it, I think I've lost the other log. Damn, dirty cannibals. Woo! Let's take a swim. And get back out there. Cut more wood. I'm going to chop down this tree. No energy. <gasps> and there we go. One strike of the axe was not. I wonder if cannibals are good fertilizer. If they are, my my lands are probably very rich, <laughs> nice and fertile, because there's a lot of cannibal bodies out here now. Oh, a log. Well, let's bring it with us. Seeing as I can only carry two at a time, I can always just roll the other one with me, using my feet. <laughs> just go straight through that squirrel, doesn't even kill him. That's funny. Okay, we don't want to roll it too far, otherwise, into the water! <laughs> and we need it. It's rolling still, but I've got it. We lucky. Well, I spoke too soon. Uh, that'll teach me. Can always use more sticks. Cutting down this tree should be enough to finish this next platform. Looks like I'm going to go for another soda. Perfect. We have enough logs as long as I don't derp out again and chuck all the logs in the water. <laughs> there we go. Now, that's a lot of sticks. Hmm. That would be an appropriate distance to s go out. Yeah, let's put a gazebo here and connect it with stairs.
Yeah, that should work. Okay. Well, let's go get those logs. Because I'm going to need a lot more logs, apparently. But what I'm going to need a lot more of, really, is a crap ton of sticks. I didn't realize that the gazebo took so many sticks, but I guess it does. Uh, is that the build point right here? Yeah, okay. So, let's get some more. Hmm. I have a turtle shell, so yeah, what I'm going to do is create a drinking device, so the water collector, and then I'm going to put, what is it, the Sap collector. Where is it? Here. On this tree. And I need a s another stick. Of all the things I need in this world, sticks are the most. That just gave me leaves, no sticks. I see this is going to be a difficult task because this particular area doesn't seem to have sticks. This tree, however, being skinny like this, theoretically it should have sticks. At least the ones that I've seen before that I've cut down had sticks. Yeah, I was right, sticks. Awesome. Just how many sticks do I have on hand? Four? Okay, let's get some more sticks. I can carry ten sticks at a time. So that's what I'm going to do. actually get some food in my belly in a minute. And we got a ton of sticks. Can't carry any more. Okay, let's head back and use the sticks that we have. And then come back and get some more. And the more I cut down, the further I have to run to get anything out here now. That's the one bad thing. But at least this place is kind of safe. Okay, so that's going to take a while. I can get tree like logs easily all around here it seems, but not so easily sticks. So I'm going to come out here looking for more sticks before it gets too dark for me to safely look for more sticks. And we've got company. Oh, hello. 
You want to fight? Come on. I want to fight you. This guy's just taking it. He's just like, nope, don't want to fight. You can spear me to death, I don't care. It's a bit of a toughie. It's lucky he's on his own. And that he doesn't want to fight, which is interesting. Okay, you're dead, mate. Very dead. I'm okay with that. Okay, two more sticks, and then we have to book it back. So we're kind of near the north end of the map. Where it gets all cold. Take a bit of a dip. Get rid of all that nasty cannibal blood off of us. I think I just scared a raccoon. <laughs> Light the fire. And put more sticks onto my gazebo. Man, 60 sticks for a gazebo, that's incredible. Let's huddle by the fire so that we don't freeze. Gather some more leaves from the surrounding area. Stay nice and warm. I can actually go to sleep. This is good. Okay. So now... I can eat that. Can't drink anything because I got rid of my pot. Well, I can drink the soda. That's only going to last like one day. Oh well. We'll manage. Anything to collect? No sap from you just yet? Okay. Going on a stick hunt, stick hunt, stick hunt. We're going on a stick hunt all day long. It should take us about four, four and a bit trips with the amount of sticks that we can gather and how many are around. Or how many that we need to get. So we need 43 more sticks. I can carry just 10 at a time. So yeah, it'd be just over four turns. Four different trips. Oh good, we got some pigs in the area too. This place is very fertile with um, resources it appears. Alrighty. Back to the sticks.
Mm. The one thing that I really need to happen right now is um, rain. I need rain badly because if I don't get any rain soon, I'm going to start to die of thirst and that will not be good because that will force me to go looking for things like soda just so that I can so I have a bit longer drink my fill mm. If I could find blueberries, I might be okay. Oh, I see why that needs all the sticks. It's using them as a sh uh, roof. Interesting. Yeah, if I could find blueberries or soda I would be fine for water. Wouldn't be so thirsty. Will I, though, is a good question. It's good that there's so many sticks on the ground around this area. Oh, that was a crocodile after my ass. He's still after my ass. He's just slow. Hey! Get in my belly! You're the dinner, not me! Learn where you are on the food chain. <laughs> Tons more meat. And we're bloody again. Collect all the marigold we see. Because it's useful stuff. Hang on, what was that? Ugh! Poison berries. Again! That's all that seems to be in this area is poisonous berries. We've got another pond. With a bunch of marigold in it. I don't think there are any fish in here, however. Don't necessarily want to cut down one of these things unless I have to. I want to try and find a stick that's already on the ground. More bad berry bushes. Man, where, where are all the sticks at? Ah, here we go. And we got company. Cannibal neighbors. You just won't go away. Have you ever had those kind of neighbors, ladies and gentlemen, that you just 
Oh, you absolutely loathe. That's so annoying. But they just keep coming around and they won't go away. No matter what you do to them. No matter what no matter what you say. They just don't get it. They're just like, I love you. I'm going to come around every day and annoy you. Just because I can. Ugh. I kind of have those right now. Not just in the game, but in real life. Let's put all the food we've got on the rack. If we can. Come on, fit on the rack. Where is that lovely C key? Here it is. And what we done here? And we're good. Okay. So now I'm going to head down this way and look for more sticks. Because I haven't been down this way in a while. And Bambi apparently wants to follow us, which is okay with me. <sighs> Building stuff is a long process. So close to being done. And then we just need 60 locks. Which is undoubtedly going to take some time. And we got fish in the lake. Good. And now I just need one more stick. Just the one. go, we got the stick we needed. Let's add it to the gazebo and then come back for logs in the next episode. There we go, because right about now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call the episode because it's been a bit of a lengthy one at this point. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you guys will join me for the next one. So, as I always say, my name is eDogs82. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. My life is over. It's time to start thinking again about our time together. My life is over. My life is over. It's time to start thinking again about our time together.
Thank <laughs> you. 